deadly explosions at a fertilizer plant in Texas last week causing concern in our area. Questions about the safety precautions taken in and around potentially dangerous plants in the tri-state. Our investigative reporter Jim Hoffer looking into these questions and finding some disturbing answers, especially about an oil refinery in New Jersey. Were they cutting back on safety? The Bayway Refinery in Linden pumps out 238,000 barrels of fuel a day, making it the largest refinery on the East Coast. Occasionally, that process can be dangerous. It's an explosion and a lot of windows broke out. This exclusive video obtained by Eyewitness News shows an inferno of 30-foot-tall flames following a Bayway explosion in 2008. No one was injured in part because of the quick response of the refinery's own fire department, which had 10 full-time firefighters. There have been uh, major incidents in the past few years, but thankfully we've been able to, uh, to contain them. Refinery worker and union president Gary Doherty says the refinery owner is cutting back on fire safety, putting workers and the community in danger. Are you just trying to scare people? Uh, no, we're not trying to scare people. We're trying to educate people. We're trying to convince management that they're making a mistake. The union says Bayway's fire department has been reduced from 10 full-time firefighters in 2008 to 7 today. That means during the night shift, there is only one full-time firefighter on duty at the nation's second largest refinery. This is to save money. And we ask, at what cost? Bayway's owner, Phillips 66, says that it maintains robust emergency response capabilities. A spokesman telling us that only one full-time firefighting position has been cut and that more than 100 workers here at the refinery have been trained to respond to emergencies. But we've learned that the volunteer rescue squad had its firefighting training eliminated. That caused nearly half of the 48-man volunteer fire brigade to quit the squad. They turn in their gear and they no longer volunteer to come in and fight fires. They fear for the safety. As do some families in this densely populated area surrounding the refinery, where within a three mile radius there are dozens of schools and tens of thousands of homes. You need as much manpower there as fast as you can you know, before something gets out of hand. Phillips 66 says it has reversed its decision to cut firefighting training to Bayway's rescue squad, resulting, they say, in a return of several volunteers to the fire brigade. But we've been told that earlier this week, a training class had to be canceled because of a lack of volunteers. Jim Hoffer, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Quite a story. And if you have a story you'd like our investigators to check out, we invite you to call 1-877-TIP-NEWS or email them at v.investigators at abc.com.